you get to the high school level and suddenly posters and pictures became uncool because like you were in high school now and it should be the written word and you don't do things with pictures. Well, we're getting back to the pictures. We're getting back to the visual r representations. And you know, what we've learned through brain research, if you're taking something that's written or an idea that's talked about and making it visual, it's going into a much deeper place in the brain. You're really synthesizing that information. So I could lecture and a student could copy down word for word what I say and really not process it at all. But if I ask a student to draw me a picture that represents what I just said, well, now they've got to spend a few minutes and mull it over and think about what it means. And it takes us to a whole new level of understanding. So if you can visualize it, then you understand it at a deeper level. And when we ask kids to, to draw it or to create a 3D model of it, we can see where the misconceptions are pretty quickly. We started a new unit on thermal energy. And what they did is I gave them a cup of cold water and a cup of cold, cold, uh, hot water. And what they were supposed to do is try to come up to a specific temperature that I gave them. So they were just adding water back and forth, trying to get it to a temperature using a uh, probe to see what the temperature was. After they were done with that, what I had them do was model for me where the energy was going. I think the pictures is really what gets them to understand what's happening. And this is a good way for me too to see where their misconceptions are. I had a lot of kids that were drawing arrows going the, the other direction. So it was good for me to be like, okay, now this is where I need to go back and hit where what happens with an endothermic reaction, what happens with an exothermic reaction. That energy is always transferred from warm to cold as opposed to the other way around. Because a lot of the kids, the, the biggest confusing one was when they put the ice cube in, they thought that the ice cube went into the water.